actually, you know, it's, it's funny because, uh, you know, I, people ask me all the time uh, and make jokes about when they hear I'm a psychologist, they make jokes all the time about like, oh, oh, better be careful what I say. <laughs> I better be careful what I say around you, whatever. But, but the reality is, and they should be careful because I do judge them. Not just, um, but the, re the reality is I do use that all the time and not, not to intimidate my peers, but to keep us grounded all the time. Everything starts with the customer and the customer psychology. The whole point of data is to tell a story, right? Data for the point of data, it's, it's all about to tell a story, a story about your customers, what they want, what makes them happy, importantly, what will, mo what will motivate them, uh, and if you, if, you, if you use data right, it will tell you where you need to go, what you need to do better, uh, and when you're sort of going off course very early on. And whether that's using sort of machine learning or AI, AI or predictive analytics, you know, you can start to understand uh, the trends that will help you win. And, and the reason this is becoming more important, more and more and more important, um, is that you know, it is getting harder and harder in the world today to create a defensible position uh, and to differentiate yourself. And customers are expecting everything. We, I just, just gave this talk around in our category where, you know, our customers are no longer willing to make trade-offs between convenience, cost, and quality. They just won't. Uh, they, they demand it all because they can demand it all because there's so much competition, so it's so easy to sort of provide that. And so more and more, we're, we're sort of using data to dig deeper and deeper to really understand, you know, how you're different. How can you really differentiate this? What really matters to them? I mean, the psychology aspect is rooted in, everywhere. It's, it underpins behavior analytics, which helps us understand what consumers want from their products and services. And then, and and based on, it, it goes all the way from helping you understand what you need to develop, so you can actually use it to drive your product roadmap. Um, but it's also how you measure that performance in a real way, how you optimize the experience at every touch point, uh, all the way to sort of measuring satisfaction MPS at the end. So, you know, it's the, the, the journey now for consumers, as much as people talk about the customer journey, it's a psychological journey and, and it's a battle you have to win. And the best, um, the biggest ammunition for that is data. Uh, and, uh, but you have to be careful because uh, data for the sake of data, um, it, it doesn't do anything, and you can and you can drive yourself crazy. We are in a data-rich world, but an insight-poor world. And so, the best way, you know, when you say using data, it's more like how do you use insights? What do you do with the data that differentiates companies? And I think that's where the real magic happens.